Good morning! Today is Thursday, December 23rd. It is a little after 7 a.m. I'm at my parents' house and it is pouring rain. So I am going to do a quick home workout before my sister and her family comes because today is my brother-in-law's birthday. So I better get it together before they come. wanted to jump on real quick to share some of the happy mail that had arrived at my parents. Our heater is on so I'm hoping it's not too loud. And here comes the dog so hopefully this works but here we go. All right so the first was the t-shirts that my sister had ordered for us. I believe that she showed mine already but I'm going to show it again. This is from Natalie of Nitty Natty her merchandise shop and I got Netflix. This is mine, so I'm pretty excited that it's here and I can wear it over the break and hopefully my sister can wear hers and we can match, but who knows, who knows. All right, and then I also had an order from, oh, that's the dog. This is, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Um, so I also ordered from Pacific Moon Knits, that's Sarah. And I had it sent to my parents' house because um, they ordered a little bit later towards me coming home. And so I wanted to make sure that I could see it. And so she sent me a super sweet note, which I just think is so kind. Oh, wait, let me show you. This is her card here. So definitely check her out. And she sent me these really lovely little, I want to say, uh, prog begin markers just markers so pretty excited about those those are so cute she totally didn't have to share those so thank you so much Sarah and then she also sent me some hot chocolate and hot cinnamon spice tea which I am super excited about trying it's gonna be perfect for this rainy weather that we're having today and then what I ordered was a progress keeper which is a I think it's called an apple pie narwhal. It is so cute. I can't even handle it. Look how cute that is. Oops. You can see the little horn there and then it's got its little tail. Sorry, my fingers are totally in the way. I'm not doing an awesome job of this, but I love it. I can't wait to put it on something that I'm going to knit. So I'm definitely gonna save that, put it in this little box so that I don't lose it because that would be horrible. And then I also got some happy mail from my friend Elizabeth who lives on the East Coast. We do, we swap or we try and swap. We got better this month, I think, but I think we're both gonna commit to being better in the new year to swap with each other. She sent me a ton of goodies, so I'm super excited. I got quite a bit of candy, some of these, and then some of these Rolos, which is my brother-in-law's favorite, I think, and luckily it's his birthday, so I might let him snag a few. And then she also sent me, um, pardon me, a little crinkling, some beautiful cards, which are just so precious. And then this wonderful, let me pull it out of the little pouch. It's like a stress relief salve. So I'm very excited. I pulled this out and showed my dad. He's like, hmm, you need a vat of that. <laughs> so perfect. Love it. And I love lavender. The smell of lavender is one of my favorites. And then she sent me some yarn, which is so great. So I got a mini skein and this is Yarn Cafe Creations. It's called Tea and Honey. Love this. It's kind of showing up as grayish, but it's a bit more of like a mauve lavender color. And then she sent me two skeins of yarn that she actually dyed. I don't think she has a shop up yet, but I will double check with her to see if she does. But these are the skeins of yarn that she dyed for me. So I'm very excited. 
This is kind of the logo that she's created for herself, which I think is so great. It's called Highland Yarn. It says that it's hand dyed in Monterey, Virginia, and this is sock yarn. It's a three ply sock yarn, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 415 yards. These are beautiful and, of course, because Elizabeth is so amazing, they go so well with this mini skein that she sent me. Sorry, my mom is leaving to take the dog out. Hopefully, again, things aren't too loud, but I am so excited about this to have these here with me. Maybe I'll do a design with them. I'm not totally sure, but thank you, thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. So I'm very excited about all of my goodies. <laughs> All right, so it is time for Christmas crafts. My sister and brother-in-law and Lottie have left, so mom and I are gonna do our crafts. We are doing paint your own Christmas bobblehead. I have the, is it a rat or a mouse? Nutcracker. No, we're from, it's from the Nutcracker, but it's a mouse king. Yeah, oh, sometimes they call it the rat king. It's the mouse slash rat king, and mom rodent. has an el rodent king. And mom has an elf, so we are going to paint these for our Christmas craft now. All right, so we have finished our Christmas craft. Um, and but before that we had finished those, I did finished my Christmas socks, which I am so excited about. So now I get to wear them um, tomorrow because in our house, Santa comes the night of the 23rd and we open Santa presents. Sorry, we're making dinner right now. Um, we open presents the morning of Christmas Eve. And so I get to wear these to open up our presents. Again, the yarn is mint rain and it's gingerbread house. And then for the contrast, it's from at Haynes House Yarn and it's called Marvel Red. So these babies are all done. And now I am working on my other whip that was in progress. These are my, I'm calling them my LAX socks because I was started working on them while I was at the airport um, earlier this fall. And this yarn is Tinseltown by Destination Yarn. So I already have one of them knit up. So I just have to finish the other one and I then should only have two whips left, which is actually really exciting. One of them is 50% and then the other one is my muscle burr, which is probably not gonna be done, but that's fine. So I am gonna go head into the kitchen for dinner and then just work on these and watch some more TV or a movie. Mm -hmm. 